Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about Sora and what we know so far. So let's get started. Okay, some of you all probably have heard of Sora, and some of you may not have heard of Sora. But Sora is an uh, open AI video generator, and they have uh, really blew the uh, market away when they first released these videos and uh, showed the prompts that they use for each video. And um, some of the stuff here is really, really fantastic, very realistic looking, as you can see here. We can just, I'll just play like a little short clip of this cat. Very realistic looking. Um, like the way it crunches the nose. This paw got a little weird there at the end, but look at that. Okay, so it's, <laughs> it's light came up from a different area, but it's still a really great looking quality. Um, show you one more. You guys have probably, hopefully you've all seen this stuff. Um, like, uh, I think this one looks really good. Just shows a, you know, truck driving down the road. Uh, the dirt looks fantastic coming over, off of it. I mean, it looks realistic. It just really does. There it looks a little video gaming, but mostly it's pretty awesome. So they have added, uh, they released a Sean Ralston on his uh, X feed has released a video of some more capabilities that they're talking about. And some of it is gonna be end painting. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, so we got a 30 year old man in a gray suit, a woman in a gray suit, but it doesn't specify that exactly, but a 60 year old with a white beard and then a metal industrial robot. So uh, I'm gonna press play on this, but I want you guys to watch the, um, when they're walking down the alley, I want you to take a look at the camera angles, uh, the, the, the way the alley, looks like the puddles of water and stuff and just uh see what you guys think about it so let's go ahead and play it Okay, first of all, um, what'd you all think? Um, I mean, it looks really great. So they were able to take this uh, this character. I'm assuming it started with the male just because he's over here. But they were able to take this character and, and paint him and change him over to a woman. An old man with a white beard and a metal industrial robot. And give them the exact same cadence in their walk. Uh, the same camera angles. The alleys are a little bit different. Like, you know, you got a lot more trash cans right here than you do here. Uh, the graffiti's different. So it changed the scene. But in a, in a, if this was just the scene, you could totally use this. Um, here you can see the, the graffiti's totally different here. And, you know, the puddles are all, all different in each one. But look how realistic these dumpsters look. I mean, if you didn't know this was AI, you would think... This would be a movie, easy, or as you know, like a shot, a realistic shot. I mean, like the puddle, the reflection in the puddle right there, like right here. Well, I guess it's clearly reflecting that building, and that's clearly reflect, reflecting these two buildings. It's just insane. And then, if you speed it up, like, look at that. It's so fantastic looking. I cannot wait to get my hands on this product. So. What do you guys think? You guys think it looks great? Okay. Um, so we do know that um, Adobe is working with uh, OpenAI to in, to put Sora into Premiere, uh, which is probably going to make me buy Premiere again. Um, but that's going to be something that I feel like is going to happen sooner this year than later. Uh, I kind of have a, a feeling that Sora is not going to come out until after the election to kind of help keep down the deep fakes. I don't know, but you know, I wish it would come out sooner. It may not be ready though. I don't want it to come out until it's ready because I've honestly been pretty disappointed with LTX studio. Um, on the surface, it's fantastic. I love what it can do, but I just don't think it was ready uh, for even beta yet. Um, they released some great stuff on the pr premieres, but when you, and you can generate some good stuff, but when you get into it and start messing around with it, it just seems really glitchy. 
Um, okay, so that being said, let's move on. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a music video done by a fellow named, uh, he's a director, Paul Trillo. And he put out a video for this band called Washed Out. And the song's called The Hardest Part. Now, the video is an idea that Paul had had for 10 years. And he was able to bring it to life with Suno. Uh, he's one of the early people that they got his hands on it. And um, so I wanted to show you guys some of this uh, right here. This video tells the story of a couple's life together. And it starts, it was an infinite dolly shot. And it starts from meeting in school until adulthood. Okay. So I'm not going to play the audio because of the uh, copyright stuff. Uh, but props, you know, to Washed Out for allowing him to, to do this for the video. Um, you guys should definitely go check it out and check out the video and, and the song. So, um, but first, you know, first impression right here. Like, so this looks pretty cool. Looks, looks pretty realistic. I'm going to. If we go ahead and play this a little bit, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about it. The lighting right there. I mean, just, you know, if you've ever been in an office area or like a small cafe like this, you know, with the tube lighting, um, you know, this looks just like that style lighting. You got the exit light right there. The seats, like they got that shine to them with their vinyl wrapped. Uh, looks fantastic. It really does. Um, he said that it took him around 700 generation rows to get the 55 scenes that he used to make this video, which is four minutes and two seconds long. Okay. I'll keep playing because I happen to have a copy of the prompt list here. Uh, here we go. So let's open this bad boy up right here. Now, this was a uh, prompts for about 15 to 20 clips. It's a bit lengthy. I'm not going to read it all. I'll just kind of give you guys a little bit. And then I'll, I will add it to the bottom of this video so you guys can go and read it yourself if you want. Continuous shot moving forward, zooming through time with a view of 1980s high school hall corridor with checkered tile floor buzzing with students walking around. The scene is captured from a low angle front perspective showing a door at the end of the corridor getting bigger and closer. The scene is blurred, indicating a high-speed movement. The shot is moody and cinematic with a slight uh, vignette and warm vintage tone. The shot is captured on 35mm film, Fujifilm stock from the 1990s with an, an, an amorphic 24mm lens, motion blur as we zoom continuous shot, analog film, one perspective uh, frame per view, continuous shot moving forward, zooming out of time through the doorway. Okay, so you can see that this was an extremely detailed prompt, and it goes on and on and on and on. But, uh, man, the outcome, I think, was definitely worth the time put into it. I don't know how long it took him to, to how many hours it took him to make this. I would actually, actually love to find out. And if you guys know, let us know in the comments below. But, man, uh, hey, what a gift to get the ability to, uh, to work with something so new and and uh experimental uh you know but he got to uh he used it in a way that really worked out very well uh to me this is better than to me this is better than like what ltx is where it's just a, a like you know a storyboard but it's you know with somebody's doing narration and you kind of get some, some some visuals here and there which and I'm not down in LTX Studio. I think it's going to be a fantastic tool once they get it all figured out. But this is the kind of stuff that I would like to see, that I would like to be able to use LTX for. That's kind of what I was hoping I could use it for, and I've not had much luck with it. So that's all the news I've got right now on it. Um, that's, have you guys heard anything different or anything new? Are you excited about Sora uh, AI? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.